hey guys hello and welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to talk about like how we can pass the record id which we have in the omni script to the flex card which we are embedding inside our omni script so that based on that record id the data adapter or whatever data setup you are using inside that flex card can query that data so let's go ahead and create a new flex card i'll name it as a child flex card child flex and for the data source i'll select the data raptor um we are going to create a new data raptor so for now let's just select any one of these hit next and click on save so that it will create the flex card and uh, let it generate the lightning component for this till that time we can go to our uh, data raptor and we can create that data raptor name it as a uh, get account it will be of extract type and leave the other things as it is so we can select the object which we want and for the example i'll select the account and i want to pass the record id so we can uh, match it with the id of that account and uh, let's pass it as record id okay in the output we can select the fields which we want so for now i'll select the account number and the second field will be the account name based on your requirement whatever you want you can uh, select that let's just check if it is working or not so in this we'll have to pass the record id and the value will be the id of any of the account let's execute it okay so our data raptor is working now go back to our flex card just change the data setup so because we have just now created it might not be available so let me just refresh this page once all right let's go to the setup and uh, let's change the interface name to get account okay and inside the input map what we have to pass we have to pass the e as record id which we are using inside that data raptor and the value it will be record id and i capital d will be small it should be inside this curly braces okay it will be record id and we have to pass the test parameter to check if we have the data let's just save and fetch okay so we have the data now let's go to this and uh, add some fields to the ui name it as account information just change the size for this a bit move it to the center and uh, let's select some background color as well all right and uh, we can add some fields whatever we are getting from the data raptor now this flex card itself is a working flex card we can place it on any of the account record page and based on the id of that record it will get me the data but we don't want that we want to we want to place it inside the omni script right so for that what we have to do first of all we have to check whether the repeat option is selected it should be selected and uh, then we have to enable this omni script support as well and it's good to go okay so now what we can do we can just activate it 
now let's go ahead and create one omni script where we are going to embed this flex card let's create a flex card name it as pass record id the type will be pass record id okay let's just save it all right so our omni script is now created now based on our requirement we want to use the flex card so for that we have to use the lightning web component here as the custom lightning web component and inside this because we have already created uh, our flex card and that is already activated that is child flex so we'll just click on this and we will see this child flex is available but after selecting this what we have to do because based on the id only it will try to fetch the data so we have to pass the record id to this flex card from this omni script so for that we have to use this uh, property and the property will be the record hyphen id and the property source will be so where we have the record id available inside the omni script it will be available in the context id so we'll have to use this merge operator inside this we have to use this context c capital and i capital context id now after passing this because we are using a custom lightning web component inside our omni script we have to activate it and then only we can try to preview whether this is working or not so we can activate it now our omni script is activated we can go to the preview section and we can try to preview it to check whether that uh, flex card is loading or not so you can see it's not loading the reason is because we have not provided any context id so we'll have to pass the context id as any of the account id based on this context id only the flex card will try to load the data now after providing this we can try to reload it and you can see based on the context id it will try to get the data from the flex card and that flex card will try to get the data from the data adapter which we are using there as the data source so this is the way how we can pass a record id from the omni script to the flex card in the next video we will be talking about how we can pass the other attributes like if we want to pass other than the record id or anything else any of the fields which we want to pass in the flex card and then based on that we will try to query the data whether we are able to query that data or not so that's it for this video if you find this video helpful please like this video and do subscribe to my channel